Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Vikram. In this class, we will try to understand theta notation. This is the third asymptotic notation that we are going to discuss in this video. The discussion about big O notation and omega notation has already been done in our previous videos. If you haven't watched those videos, please watch those videos and come back here because understanding of those concepts is very much important for you to understand what we are going to discuss in this class. And every video on our channel is going to be part of entire course or a playlist. Our suggestion is to follow the entire course so that you can have better understanding of the concepts. And the link for the playlist is provided in the description below. Now, what is theta notation? That we will try to understand. The function f of n is theta of g of n. So, as we have already discussed, this is not equal to in this definition, it is is. f of n, we can say that f of n is, uh, uh, we can represent the function f of n as theta of g of n if and only if there exist positive constants if and, if and only if there exist positive constants c1 c0 c1 c2 and n not such that so such that f of n is greater than or equal to uh, c1 into g of n and f of n is less than or equal to c2 into g of n for all the values of n greater than or equal to n naught where n greater than or equal to n naught so if the f of n is if the f of n is in between these two these two uh, uh, expressions then we can say that then we can say that uh, and this should be equal this should be there for all the values of n greater than or equal to n naught and this should be true for all the values of n uh, which is greater than or equal to n naught so this way you may not be able to understand we'll try to derive we'll try to solve this we'll try to get the clear understanding by uh, solving this expression okay we'll find the values of n naught also and whenever this happens to be true for all the values of n greater than or equal to n naught then we can say that f of n as theta of g of n then we can say that that function f of n can be expressed in the theta notation okay so let's try to solve this uh, we'll take the uh, time complexity of any uh, equation so for example if you take 3n plus 2 this is the uh, time complexity and this is our f of n and this f of n should be greater than or equal to 3n so we will consider this as 3n as we have considered it on it in the omega notation and this f of n should be less than or equal to 4n so this is the tightest upper bound and this is the tightest lower bound try to get that so this this is what we have discussed about omega notation and this is what we have discussed about uh, big o notation if we can say that we can say that so this can be this f of n can be expressed as theta of g of n if it exists in between the 4n and 3n so if this happens to be true for all the values of n uh, if the n is greater than n naught so after a particular n value if it happens to be true for all the values of n then we can say that this f of n can be represented as theta of g of n and here this is c1 this is c1 and this is g of n this is g of n and this is c2 this is c2 and this is uh, g of n here the g of n value is n now we will try to get the value of n naught for for which value of n naught from where this this is going to this this is happening to be true for all the values of n that we will see so we'll start with n is equal to 1 if you substitute n is equal to 1 then uh, is it going to be true 3 1 3 uh, it should be and 3 plus uh, 2 5 and it should be 4 1 4 is it true if 5 is 5 greater than 3 no y yes it is true and is, fi is, f is 5 less than 4 no 5 is greater than 4 so this is not going to be true okay and if you take the value of n is equal to 2 is it true let's check uh, n is equal to 2 here uh, 3 to 6 less than or equal to 6 plus 2 
सेवन एट लेस देन और इक्वल टू दिस वन एट नाउ इज इट ट्रू यस एट इज ग्रेटर देन सिक्स एंड एट इज लेस देन और इक्वल टू एट सो दिस इज ट्रू नाउ वी हैव टू चेक फ्रॉम इफ यू कंसिडर दिस एज एन नॉट फ्रॉम हियर फॉर ऑल द वैल्यूज ऑफ एन नॉट फॉर ऑल द वैल्यूज ऑफ एन दिस शुड बी ट्रू दिस दिस एंटायर इक्वेशन शुड बी ट्रू इफ दैट हैपेंस टू बी ट्रू फॉर ऑल द वैल्यूज ऑफ एन for all the values of n then we can say that f of n can be described as uh, in the theta format let's try to check for n is equal to 3 if we check for n is equal to 3 3 3 is 9 and 9 plus 2 11 9 less than or equal to 11 sorry uh, 11 greater than or equal to 9 and uh, 11 less than or equal to uh, 4 3 is 12 is it true yes 11 is less than 12 and 11 is greater than 9 is it true yes it is true so uh, so for all the values of n if you take any value of n below 2 or equal to 2 this one is going to be true now what we can say we can say that if this happens to be true if this happens to be true then we can say that 3n plus 2 then we can express this uh what we call it as this uh, uh function can be expressed as it is not equals is 3n plus 2 is theta of g of n what is the value of g of n here the value of g of n is n now this expression can be expressed as theta of n we have given the symbol now what does that mean as we have already discussed if you are if you are expressing if you are describing a function with the notations with the asymptotic notation it means that it is describing something about that algorithm it is describing something it is giving some statements about that function so what kind of statement it is giving the statement that is given by the theta notation is and uh, theta notation is it is exact bound it is exact bound so why it is called as exact bound is this f of n is exactly bound in between these two functions see here uh, f of n is f of n is 3n plus 2 whatever the value of n try to get the graphical representation whatever may be the value of n it is always going to be in between these two values so for example if you take c2 plus so it is the upper bound uh, it is 4n and this is the lower bound it is 3n so if you consider only these two this is what we call it as uh, uh, omega notation right if you consider only these two this is what we call it as so graphically we have seen in our previous videos this is the uh, uh, big o notation upper bound this is lower bound and he, here the theta notation means it is exact bound exactly in between these two values so whatever the value of n it is always going to be in between 3n and 4n try to check that and this is the tightest upper bound and this is the tightest lower bound so the entire uh, uh, equation of theta represents that this is the exact bound this is the exact bound so we have seen the uh 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 why this theta notation is used but how can where can we apply for algorithms which kind of algorithms can be used with theta notation so as we have seen that big o notation can be applied whenever those algorithms are describing the upper bound so whenever the exact uh, uh, whenever we were not able to uh, say that these many number of comparisons are to be done uh, whenever we were able to express only the upper bound then the big o notation is used similarly whenever we were able to uh, express the lower bound so we have seen in, we haven't seen any examples for omega notation but for lower bound if we are able to express only the lower bound then we are going to use the omega notation and what kind of algorithms for what kind of algorithms we can express we can give the theta notation that we will try to understand in our next class hope you got the clarity on this concept thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates and if you have any doubts regarding this concept please post your doubt in the comment section below and if you feel that this video is helpful to you please give us a like symbol and please share this video with your friends so that they will also get benefited thanks for watching